After 14 days adrift at sea, Rohingya refugee Hazara Hatun and her three children arrived in Indonesia's westernmost province of Aceh. Like many others, Hatun fled overcrowded refugee camps in Bangladesh after fleeing a crackdown against Muslims in her home country of Myanmar. But on the shores of Aceh, refugees are being met with increasing hostility. This truck carrying Rohingya women and children was forced to leave a makeshift camp after they were denied entry. Acha had been a rare refuge in Southeast Asia for the Rohingya people. 98% of the local population are Muslims. The local Achanese also follow a custom based on Islamic Sharia law, which requires them to help people in distress at sea. However, 1,500 refugees have sought shelter in Acha since November, according to the United Nations Refugee Agency. The surge has caused some locals to turn on the new arrivals. Saya setuju untuk aksi demo masyarakat Aceh karena kita di masyarakat Aceh uh, saja masih banyak kekurangan, masih banyak masyarakat miskin. Uh, kenapa kita harus menampung uh, Rohingya yang datang sini dengan ribuan mereka dan berbuat masalah uh, kayak banyak kejadian-kejadian mereka membawa uh, efek buruk uh, ke masyarakat dengan sifatnya ada yang kabur, ada yang seks bebas, ada yang bawa narkoba. Some Achenese have even turned to social media to vent their anger. I don't want to pay tax if it's used for Rohingya. I want to donate to get rid of the Rohingya. How come these parasites are being kept? The UNHCR said it had been working to reassure local communities. We need to first find a place where they can settle and, and then the, 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 the next steps will, will, will be discussed. But can we first secure them? Otherwise, you know, you're going to lose some of them. These kids, you have many kids there, they haven't eaten anything for eight hours yeah. because we are searching. So let us try and, and settle them for a bit of time and then we'll take next steps. Nearly a million Rohingyas were estimated to be living in Bangladesh, but many described camp conditions there as aggravating, with safety an issue. At least 1.2 million Rohingyas have been displaced since 2017, when a vast majority fled the threat of genocide in Myanmar. They largely continue to remain completely aid-dependent. But despite their hardships, some Rohingyas dream of being able to return home eventually.